Hey, hello, what's up? Welcome to the video. Here is Tasia, and in this video tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to install Kali Linux alongside Windows 7. I mean, how to dual boot Kali Linux and Windows 7 from the same hard disk. So, I want you to follow this video carefully because we are doing some serious stuff here and if you do anything wrong in this process you're going to lose your operating system and you may end up with no operating system on your hard drive and that is really dangerous because you're going to because you are going to lose your files so follow this video carefully I'm trying my best to make things clear to you and make it simple so this is a step to step by step tutorial so let's get started First off, open your browser and go to kali.org slash downloads to download the Kali uh, Linux ISO image file. So once you've, got, once you've gone to this website, here is how it looks like and you can scroll down and you need to find out with which operating system your device is compatible with. So my device is compatible with the 32-bit operating system. So I'll be downloading the Kali Linux 32-bit file. You have two options, one to download Kali Linux ISO file directly and the other to download uh, it using torrents. So I recommend you download it using torrents because it is very handy. So uh, click on the uh, this torrent link over there, and of course to download it it with torrents you need to you need to have a torrent client installed on your computer like a uTorrent or BitTorrent. So you can download the torrent client if you don't have one. So once the uh, torrent file is downloaded, just click on the torrent file and it will it will open up in this torrent. Uh, Torrent client. I have a uTorrent client, uh, uTorrent. So it it will open up in the uTorrent. So it says the torrent you are using is already in the list of torrents. So as you can see, I have already downloaded the Kali Linux ISO file, and uh, I have done downloading it. So it says that the torrent is already in the list of torrents. So I'm not going to download this file now because I ha already have it with me. So uh, you download the ISO file using the torrent. Now the next step is to download a universal USB installer. You can Google it. Um, you can Google universal USB installer. Um, don't worry, I'll, have, I'll put the link in the description. So you can go check the description and then you can find this website right away. So here's the website and you need to download this tool, um, the U uh, universal USB installer. So just scroll down and click on the download button. It says download UUI. So just click on the download button and it should start the download automatically. So here is the U universal USB installer. So once the download is done, open the downloaded file by just clicking on it and it asks you for administrative rights. So just give it the administrative rights and and oh. So just click on next and here you go you need to select the uh, Linux distribution from the drop down menu to put on your USB so click on this drop down menu and you will see uh, various options under it and now just scroll down and search for Kali Linux from these options so it will be somewhere So here we go, this is a Kali Linux. So just select Kali Linux from the drop down menu. And now place your USB drive into your uh, USB socket. So once you do that, you need to browse the downloaded Kali Linux ISO file. Uh, just click on the browse button here and then locate uh, the Kali Linux ISO file. So here is the file and uh, here is the ISO file. So just locate the file and then um, select the USB flash drive letter. So here it says, um for me it says yef so i need to select yef from this drop down menu simply select the usb flash drive letter and mine here is yef so i'll select yef and also make sure that you check this mark here which says format um your usb drive so just uh, check mark this one so that it'll first uh, firstly it, it uh, formats your usb drive and then it extracts the file to your usb drive so once you have uh, done checking it and selecting your uh, USB drive and locating the Kali Linux uh, IS file, then finally click on the create button and then it uh, extracts the installation files to your USB drive. So I'm not going to do it anyway because I had the I have the installation files already on my USB drive. So anyway, you just click on the create button and it, it just takes some uh, 10 to 15 minutes to extract the files. So just be patient. So the next step is to unallocate space on your hard drive for Kali Linux to be installed. To do that simply open your start menu and right click on computer and select manage. 
Now this will open your computer management window. Select disk manage friend from there. And now you will see all the partitions which are already created on your hard disk. So if you could see here, I have only one partition named C on my hard disk. So now you need to allocate uh, some space to Kali Linux so that it can be installed. To do that, just right click on any of your drives um, and then select uh, shrink volume. So if you could see here, I have only one drive named C and it is of 208 GB. So I'll be doing it with my C drive. Right click and select shrink volume and then a window opens up like this which says shrink uh, C or any other letter. So now uh, you need to enter the amount of space you want to allocate to Kali Linux in terms of MB. So please remember that you should not enter the uh, the value in terms of ZB but you should enter it here in terms of MB. I want to allocate a space of 50 GB to Kali Linux so I'll enter here 51200 which in GB represents 50 GB. So uh, since I want to allocate 50 GB I am entering here 51200. So in such a way you you should enter the amount of space in terms of MB. So um, once you enter the amount of space click on the shrink value and so you could see here a space of 50 GB is allocated on my hard disk so that I can install Kali Linux in this space of 50 GB. Now I recommend you to allocate a space of more than 40 GB to install Kali Linux. The next step is to restart your computer and uh, um, once you restart it tap on the F2 key on your keyboard and this will take you to the uh, you know boot menu and so here is my boot menu now go to the boot tab and select boot de device priority now bring up your usb pen drive to the first position because you want to boot from your pen drive because it has the installation files of kali linux now save changes and exit by clicking on the f10 key and once you do that your system will restart and it asks you for the password if, if your hard drive have a password so just enter the password for your hard drive and here is the Linux installation day uh, menu now click on the graphical install and it just loads up something and here we go now select your language uh, and then now select your country from this list uh, select and click on continue um, now select your keyboard I'll be selecting American English and then yeah, if you see any error like this which says uh, it, it is unable to mount your CD-ROM, simply remove your pen drive and replace it to your socket, to the socket of your PC and then uh, select yes and then click on continue. Now that should work, this is a very handy fix to this error. So uh, just wait for some time, it just loads up, it says that loading additional components and blah blah blah. So um, just be patient. And if you see any other error like this then once again eject your USB drive and replace it and this time select no and click on continue and yeah this should work and as you could see here it worked for me so just eject your USB place it again and uh, select no and click on continue this is a very simple fix to that error anyway um, and then it, it loads up like this it says that configuring the network with DHCP and uh, yeah what not so just be patient. And then it says uh, your network is probably not using and uh, blah blah. Just click on continue. And from here select do not configure the network at this time and click on continue. And then it asks you to choose a host name. By default the host name is Kali so you can change it to whatever you want. I'm not going to change it anyway. Uh, click on continue and then it asks you to enter a root, pa root password. Um, I mean with which you want to protect your Kali Linux PC so you need to enter it twice because it wants you to confirm the password so once you enter the password click on continue or uh, directly hit on enter and then it, it says detecting disks and if at all you get any error like this do the same fix that we have done before remove your USB place it again and go to no and I mean select no and click on continue and then it says uh, starting the partitioner now here from this uh, from these list of options you got to choose guided use the largest continuous p space 
and then uh, select all part all files in one partition this is recommended for new, new users so you got to select this one this option and once you click select that you, you select finish partitioning and write changes to disk and it asks you whether you are sure so just click on yes just select yes and click on continue or directly hit on enter and it says uh, partitions is partitions are formatting and it takes some time after that it says that it is installing the grub bootloader like this and it says that whether you want the grub bootloader to the master record you want to install it to the master record you just simply select yes and click on continue and then here you will see three options uh, now select the hard disk i mean slash dev slash sta is my hard disk so you got to select your hard disk and click on continue and then it resumes the installation of a grub bootloader and then finally it says the finishing inst finishing the installation this is the final step of the installation process and you are almost done and tada here we go installation is complete and it says that you need to remove the uh, the bootable USB or CD which you have inserted in order to install Kali Linux so you just remove your USB from your USB socket and click on continue button and it resumes this process of finishing the installation now once this process is done your computer should restart automatically and once it restart you are going to see a screen like this and here you you can choose between Kali Linux and Windows 7 you can boot from Windows 7 or Kali Linux so you have successfully installed Kali Linux alongside Windows 7 and you are now able to boot Kali Linux alongside I mean you are able to dual boot Kali Linux and Windows 7 from the same hard disk so if this video really helped you don't forget to uh, subscribe to me if you have any doubts regarding this video feel free to comment below I'll try to help and also please do like my facebook page uh, at facebook.com slash techcrush156 you can ask me for new tutorials by emailing me at anonymous hacker 156 at the way it's email.com the email id will be in the description below so go check the description and all the links uh, that i that i have told you in this video um, will be given in the description so you can go check the description so um visit my website at techcrush156.com and yeah thanks for watching cheers